but I think I'll I'll share the the biggest one. <laughs> no, okay, okay. Let's start I, with I the mean, biggest I, one. I, the other ones I can mention later, but uh, this biggest experience I had was in Busan in 2019. It was like uh, I don't know. It's four months after I arrived in Korea. So I was just learning Korean. I wanted to practice. I didn't have. Korean friends that time <laughs> no I don't have money either but that time like I just wanted to practice and any like any kind of situation that could let me practice was welcome you know so I was waiting outside of the dorm of my university I was waiting for some friends to go to the e-mart we're going to do some grocery shopping I was just waiting there and this Ajuma like she was holding a baby and this baby started to like smile at me and I was Oh, so cute. And I was saying annyeong to the baby. And she was like, oh my gosh, your Korean is so good. And I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> and then she started to talk to me, like some stuff in Korean. With the baby in her hand? With the baby, yeah. And she started to talk to me like, oh, where are you from? Like, oh, you're so pretty. Like, your face is so pretty. And I was like, oh, thank you. I had just wake up, you know. <laughs> I, was <looking> like <laughs> I was like, oh, she's so nice. And then she was like, oh. Your Korean is so good. And I was like, yeah, I need to speak. I need to practice. She was like, oh, if you want, we can have a lunch someday and you can practice with me. I was like, oh, I made a friend. <laughs> and it wasn't Ajuma, but uh, still, uh, I wanted to practice. And she seemed to be nice. And I thought we were going to have lunch at the university cafeteria. I was like, oh, fine, nice. So I can even like show off to my other foreign friends. I have a friend now, a Korean friend, <laughs> the Ajuma. And then she got my phone number. Oh, big mistake, big mistake. Never give the phone number to... Uh, yeah, I didn't know that time, you know, but she got my phone number and then she was messaging me like for a week. Kind of like, oh, like, uh, did you eat? How are you doing? Like, Major red flag, Koreans yeah. don't do that. Yeah, yeah uh, and I was, you know, I thought I made a friend. <laughs> I was just like, okay. And then the day, uh, I think we met on a Friday, something like that. and. We met on the next like Thursday something. I, I remember it was almost a week. And we when we met, uh, we met after my class, and we met in front of the cafeteria. So I thought we were going to eat there. And when I arrived, I saw her and other three Ajumas. <laughs> she had friends. <laughs> now like, you have four friends. <laughs> oh, now I have four <laughs> friends. <laughs> and now I'm going to sound very dumb, but you know, like I associate food with kindness. <laughs> They were holding a waffle. They gave me a waffle, you know? And I was like, oh my gosh, they're so kind. Food is love, you know, they're sharing food. And you know, they gave me a waffle. And I was like, oh, they're so kind. And, you know, I was like, oh, why are they giving me a waffle if we're gonna have lunch right now? But they were like, oh, we bought you this because you might be pegupa, you know, you might be hungry. So uh, first have a waffle, then we can go have lunch. I was like, no, but it's right here. We can have lunch now. And they were like, no, this food is bad for your stomach. Like, you're gonna feel bad later. Like, no, we, we need to eat in another place. And I was like, mm hmm, what's <laughs> okay, happening? Where are you taking me? <laughs> yeah, and then, ah, uh, and then at that time, like, I, I did have a, like, something behind my ear. Like, something's not, ha like, this is not right. Something's not right. But, you know, they had a waffle. They gave me a waffle. <laughs> That waffle. <laughs> you know, how can they be bad people? Like, and they had a waffle. So, you know, she was like, oh, uh, we're going to take you to eat a uh, kogi, like meat. At that time, I, now I'm vegetarian, but that time I was craving for meat. I'm Brazilian, you know? We have meat all the time and like, here's so expensive and they were going to give me meat. Okay, I went there. And then uh, they were like, oh, enter in our car. A car? Like, a car? No! <laughs> I thought we were just walking somewhere nearby. No. And, oh, and then they were, they were like with the door open and I was in this situation. There was three Ajumas staring at me like entering the car. And I was like, oh my gosh, my mom, my mom is going to kill me. If I die, my mom is going to kill me. Yeah, <laughs> you, yeah get in. You get that. Well, you ate that waffle. So. Uh, you, you know, I, I, I was holding the waffle. Like I was even like with the waffle things on my face. <laughs> I was like, you know, I, I had no choice. I need to enter. And then I entered the car holding my Korean books, like, ee! and I, I was be very like cutie, you know, I don't know anything about directions. Uh, I'm very bad at maps and stuff. So they start to drive 
have no idea where we were going. Just driving, there was some trees and it looked like a forest. I was like, oh my gosh, where are we going? I didn't know. And then I messaged my roommate that time. Uh, it was not Nani, but my roommate, like, she was suspicious. She was like, oh, be sure, like, to message me at some point because it, seems a bit sketchy like yeah and I was like okay if I don't message you in three hours call the police <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just messaged her like that and okay uh, we were going and then the car finally stopped after 20 minutes something like that 20 minutes yeah and they were, away. where did they take you <laughs> I don't know I just know I left the car and I look at the building and it's not a restaurant. <laughs> of course. That not was really church, blah, blah. And I was like, I fall on this. I heard so many stories from my friends and I was like, oh no, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh no, how could I do this? I, I was feeling so stupid, but you know, I have this kind of uh, coping mechanism when I'm in this kind of situation that, can I leave the situation? No. What am I gonna do? I'll try to enjoy. <laughs> so they put me there like that's not a coping mechanism. <laughs> I mean, we got the story. I we just, got a fun story. To tell. Yeah, yeah, I was just like, you know, I'm here. And my, in Portuguese, we have a said like, uh, if you're in hell, just hug the devil. Like, what hug can you devil. do? What can you do? You know. So I just, uh, I just went there. Like there was, uh, like a cafeteria, just women. They were all wearing skirts, kind of stuff. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks so weird. But they gave me a lot of food. And like, I. I <laughs> At least you got the free food. food. There was a lot of broccoli. I, I, I was so happy. Like, broccoli? broccoli. She loves broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm easily by, uh, by this kind of things. And, and they're like, I was eating and it was very weird because they put me in a table. There was another Filipino girl translating stuff for me in Spanish it was not Spanish but you know she, she was just throwing some words in Spanish I was like yeah okay got it and then like they, they were trying to communicate with me somehow and I was while I was eating this ashramas they were like uh, with a napkin they were cleaning my no. mouth they were giving the personal service yeah <gasps> And they were like telling me, oh, she uses the chokara so well. And I was like, <laughs> and they were like, oh, do you want you, us to feed you? I was like, so uncomfortable. I, I was feeling bad at that point. I was just like, no, no, it's okay. And I was just eating. And then they were like bringing more food for me. Oh, do you want more chapter? I was like, <laughs> it's like feeding the pig before slaughter. Yeah. I, I swear, <laughs> I swear. That was the first thing I thought, like, they're going to kill me. They're, they're feeding me to... To, like I'm, I'm gonna be some kind of sacrifice. I'm oh, for that. the gods. Yeah, that could actually happen. You know, like following someone and getting in a random car would easily turn the situation into a true crime case. I know, right? Yeah, so yeah. be it careful. Sounds, it sounds so dumb, but at that, that time, you know, in my mind, I was like, oh, they're being friendly. They gave me a waffle, <laughs> so the waffle was the key. I, I swear, <laughs> <laughs> the waffle was the key. Yeah, and then at that time, like they were feeding me more and more and and then the the pastor came so when this guy came like they were like oh now now you need to like just follow us okay and i was like okay and then this pastor like, this guy came like wearing a suit and he he was not even looking at people's face he was just like yeah and then everyone stood up and like, oh, oh, very like bowing to him and i was like oh my gosh this sounds very this looks very weird and then they Ma they introduced me to the pastor and I was just like yeah hi and he was like mm. and then <laughs> he's and like, okay like, good job <laughs> and I was like <laughs> good <laughs> and, and then they told me like oh later you can talk to him and I was like thanks it's fine like a bit of sound <laughs> it's okay <laughs> and then okay like uh, the pastor sat down to eat somewhere and then the ladies were just treating him as they were treating me and I was like the pastor? Yeah. They were like wiping. Yeah, they were feeding him and stuff. And he oh was my just god. Like, oh, that sounds like JMS. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was not JMS, but. Competitors. It's, it's yeah. competitors, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then uh, after that, I, I finished eating and they were talking to me still. And I was just like, oh, you know, I need to go home. I have a lot of homework. Like, I need to study. And they're like, oh, but we have very good Vietnamese coffee. Do you want to try? <laughs> <laughs> 
Bier mit Wies Coffee. Ich glaube, Waffel vor dem mit Wies Coffee. Ich like, bin so random. Oh, really? Love in Wies Coffee. Let's go. <lacht> so, it's either Waffel or Bier mit Wies Coffee. I mean, it's a combo. They gave me, they combo. gave me waffle, broccoli, Vietnamese coffee. I was just like, I'm in heaven already. Kill me if you want. No, if, if I'm in hell, I'm really gonna hug the devil. Then let's go to have yeah, coffee. Vietnamese coffee. And then I went to the, the. They took me to a little video room, and they did have Vietnamese coffee. And I was just drinking Vietnamese coffee. And they were like, Oh, we want to show you a video. Like okay, fine. And then they were they put this video of Moses and like the, <laughs> like how the they they split the Red Sea. And I was just drinking, drinking my coffee. Vietnamese like coffee. yeah, <laughs> I know this movie. I watched before. Like uh, you know, my family they're they're Catholic. Like I've been forced to catch this a few times. I I watched this a lot of times. I I know the story. And then they were like, yeah. Uh, what do you think about the stories? And I was like. What do, you, what do I think about it? I was like, yeah, <laughs> very crazy. Moses opened the sea and very stuff. Crazy. And, and then they were like, wow, crazy. science, what is science? No, I was like, yeah, like they opened, the, he opened the sea, saved people. Very yeah, interesting. And then, and, then, and then she was like, oh, but you know, there's a very important thing like on this story that Moses, he passes like the, the blood on the doors so he can protect people from the plague. Right? Not Moses passed, like, but people pass the, the blood on the... I don't remember exactly. Someone passes the blood on the door and protects from the plague. I was like, yeah, yeah. And and then they were like, yeah, so uh, we want to, like, we we actually brought you here for a reason. And okay. I was like, oh. Now you're talking business. Yeah. <laughs> it After came. After they give it mm. coffee. Yeah. I, I, I still had the hope that they were just giving me food because they were nice. But then they came to the point. And at that point... You know, I, I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, now is the time for me to pay what I came for. I, I got free, free food. Now I need to listen to their, you know, to their thing. So I was like, okay, let's let's listen. And they're like, yeah, we know that in your country, like you might have done a lot of uh, dirty stuff. They say dirty, and I was like, <laughs> what, do what? You, what do you mean, <laughs> lady? I'm sorry, but they were like, yeah, in your culture, like there's a lot of like bad things right and in your culture yeah she There's, was mm, she was dirty things single-handedly like offended the whole you, country what are you talking about what you, anyways and then she was just saying like oh yeah but we want to save you just like the people say god saved from the plague i was like oh you're gonna pass blood on me i, I was just like trying to imagine what would happen to me and they were like yeah we want to save you because you don't know like you can die tomorrow like, like you can course. die the next day <laughs> Korea is so dangerous like we have so many natural disasters like hurricane and we have like tsunamis we have so many things that you can die tomorrow and I was just like very this crazy this is very relaxing guys I'm loving this conversation <laughs> <laughs> and, and then I was like yeah I know right and, and and then she was like oh but you we want to save you so we want to give you the body and the blood of Jesus Oh my god. god, oh my god. And I was like, oh, it's just a little bread. With, <laughs> with, with wine? With wine, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> just say, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I read the Miss Coffee, just say, yes. oh. <laughs> I was like, you know, just give me, a, if, if you're gonna send me home after that, that's it. And then, <laughs> and then they were like, yeah, oh, nice, you accept to receive. They were like, oh, clapping and stuff. And I was like, okay, I, I, I can get it. If you, you, I can go home after, right? She was like, yeah, yeah. Okay, but then they were like, oh, there's a little problem. And I was like, <laughs> what? Like, we cannot give you the body and the blood of Jesus because it's very sacred. We need to actually baptize you. <laughs> so you were baptized? I was, you, you know, I was, I was <laughs> the just like, coming. Wait, I was wait, just wait. Like, baptized for food? <laughs> After food, actually, <laughs> food for baptized. Yeah, you know? food, yeah, food. Yeah, food comes out. <laughs> yeah, okay. and then, you know, they told me a lot of like they they told me a whole story about a, there's a God, Father, the God Mother, like who knows knows which church I'm talking about, and then they they're like, oh, but you need to be baptized on this kind of like on this kind of belief because you, this is better, you know, you get you're gonna be safe. 
and we can give you the body of Jesus and stuff. So you're Catholic, right? I'm not. Your, your <laughs> I, parents. My are parents Catholic. are Catholic. That time I was Buddhist. I think I am. I'm. She's religion fluid. Yeah. <laughs> religion <laughs> you know, fluid. sometimes some things from some religions make sense for me, and I'm, I'm just, okay. I'm just open to everything, actually. And, yeah. And then at uh, that time I was like, no, I cannot be baptized. I got baptized in the Christian, like, in the Catholic Church. My mom is gonna kill me. I need to talk with my parents. Like, don't do this to me. I'm Buddhist. Look at my... I had a Buddhist amulet at the time. And they were like, oh, but we cannot let you leave. <laughs> oh, my God. And at that time, I look, and I, there was an Ajuma in the door. There was another Ajuma next to her, and there was another one. And there was this Filipino girl trying to speak with me, like, in Italian, Spanish, and Filipino, and everything. And I was just like, oh my gosh. At that time, I, I almost started to cry. I was like, my mom, like, I need to talk to my parents. I cannot get baptized now. Like, this is too big. It's a life decision. Like, I cannot get baptized. Like, you know. And they were like, no, but you need to. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave. And I was like, baptize me then. Go. Go, then baptize me. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, so happy. <laughs> oh my God. And things just escalated. Like, they... They're like, oh, so we're going to going to take you to the pastor's office. I was like, oh my gosh, okay. And then you need to take all of your clothes, like even the underwear and stuff, and put these clothes I'm, we're going to give to you. And I was just like, okay. you want me to be naked in the pastor's office? Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> At that moment, I was just texting my roommate like, look, they're doing some weird stuff to me. <laughs> if, you know, like text me in 20 minutes, call me, do something, okay? Okay, and my roommate was sleeping that time. <laughs> she didn't read the message. She read the message like three hours after, but anyways, they gave me a baby blue humbug. There was like a veil, you know, the, those bright things. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna marry him. <laughs> <laughs> that that the, was my first time. I was like, you're no. the 635th wife of this pastor. <laughs> oh <my laughs> marry God. him. Uh, that, that's what my first thought, like, uh, he's, you know, he was wearing a suit. Uh, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna marry him. I'm too young for that. No, I cannot. <laughs> and that, that was your only worry? You're young, too young for that? My worry was that I, I was not wearing underwear. <laughs> that was my biggest worry. I was oh, like, so <laughs> you were naked, like beneath the hanbo? Yeah. They told me to take off everything. So I could not run away because I was naked. You know, this was like, I was having a lot of... So the pastor, like when he first saw her... And gave that strange look, you know, like uh, at that time I was he like, he knew that. Yeah, maybe she's was... gonna she's gonna be my bride. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, they, oh were, creepy. god. Oh my they god. were feeding me. Oh my gosh, for that is creepy as fuck. Thankfully, I didn't marry him. That, <laughs> the, the, at the end of the day, I didn't marry him. But still like, single. <laughs> still single. But the thing, the thing is, like, I went to this office, and inside his office there was a bathroom, and inside his bathroom there was a big like bowl, like. A, bucket of water bathtub it was not a bathtub it was a it was a big bucket like very big bucket like the water. ones where they make kimchi no it was taller i, I cannot explain like you know it, the one they put on the top of houses i don't know if they do it here water tank Kings. water tank it was a kind of a water tank okay and then like they there was some things another little buckets inside for him to you know and then they put me inside the bathroom like the ajumas they put me inside this bathroom and they're like okay so you cannot scream and you cannot leave the pastor will come and i was like i cannot scream what are you talking about what are you gonna do no because she she knew some words in english maybe she didn't express herself well but she just told me like don't scream and like don't leave and i, I was just like Huh. I, I had no phone, I had no underwear, I had nothing, no dignity at no, all. I, was no. just, <laughs> I, you know, I got, I, I, I went to a car because of a waffle. I, I, at that moment, I was just questioning my entire existence life and existence. <laughs> I was just like, you know what, yeah, that's it. What can I do? I'll just, yeah, I'll just wait and don't scream and stuff. And, and then the pastor came. He said nothing to me. He just came. And then he got, he put his hand on my head. And then these other Ajumas came and they put his, their hand on my head. He got a bucket and he threw on me like a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I shouldn't scream because I, 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 it was cold water. It was cold water. <laughs> and I, I thought like, I, I almost died by like, 
drown it on the water, you know? I was like, okay, I'm gonna be sacrificed by water, that's it. Uh, he was throwing so much water on me and saying some stuff. I, I didn't understand because at that time, like, I, my Korean, I just understood, like, <laughs> it was just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And then they, they washed me on water. That's why they made me take out everything, I oh. think. Yeah, and maybe they were just considerate. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe they just not get your <laughs> normal clothes, right? You know, they could just at least like if they were gonna force me to get baptized, they could at least look at me and say like, "Look, we're gonna throw a lot of water on you. That's why we need you to take off your underwear." And it's not like take everything, put this dress, and don't scream. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you think? <laughs> like, I was ready for the you know the sacrifice and stuff. <laughs> and yeah, after that. They all like, I got baptized, pastor said nothing, he just left. And then the, the ladies, they were like, oh, Tukayo, like just congratulating me for getting baptized. I was like, mm, thanks guys, it was amazing, nice. And then they gave me like a hair dryer. You know, I just, I just put my clothes, I was pissed at the time. <laughs> I, oh I, and then they're like, oh, you need to sign something here and there, like. Uh, in the air? <laughs> Yeah, I needed to sign. I put my ERC number. My ERC changed, though. I don't think they have it anymore. But I put my name, my ERC number, my phone number. Like, Dude, like but just the fact that they asked you for your ERC, yeah. like the, your residence number in Korea, like everything in Korea is linked to your ERC number. That time I didn't know. I was just it's dumb. very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, and then they finally gave me the body and blood of Jesus and I, the bread the, you know it's funny though because I at that moment I was like huh Korean Jesus is made of rice was it <laughs> talk <laughs> you want to talk <laughs> Korean Jesus is made of rice <laughs> you want to oh <laughs> they gave me a talk and <laughs> did they rock. give you makoli instead of wine no it was just a a kulpix oh my god that is kulpix and talk <laughs> Yeah, Jesus is made of rice here. And then, and then I, was, I, I remember I got the talk, I was like, <laughs> and I ate and I was like, okay, can I go home now? And they're like, oh yes, of course. And then they took a picture of me, oh, of course. And then they let me go, but I didn't know where I was. I just walked to the first bus stop I found. Oh my God. Ended up somewhere. Oh, they didn't drop you back? I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. They no, offered me, I was like, nope. No, I, I'm gonna end up somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just got a bus. I went to Nampo, and then from Nampo, I went back to university. And ah, that is so scary. That is way like ten times scarier than what yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, it's very extreme experience. And at that time, like you know, like after everything happened, I I was just, you know, I I was feeling a bit conflicted inside of me. I was like, oh. Was this a fun experience? Was this a very... She's uh, very positive. <laughs> she, she is very positive. Like She's nice to everyone and she thinks everyone's nice too. Yeah, that's my problem. Yeah. And, and then like I, I start to feel bad. I was like, no, I feel, I feel bad. I feel abused. <laughs> they lied to me. And then I blocked Ash with my contact because she kept messaging like, oh, do you want to come next Sunday? I was like, no. Ah, Baptized number back. two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, I had, a, I had a Buddhist amulet at that time. I was wearing that for two years. On that day, I arrived on the dorm and it fell like, on my hand. It fell on my hand and it, I don't know, like, I don't think they cut or anything, but it didn't rip. It, it seemed like someone cut it. Really? I mean, did you take it off when <gasps> no. they, you were wearing that when you got baptized? Yeah, I never took off. Like for two years, I never took off. It was like a, it, it was not a metal or anything. It was just, I don't know, Thread? letter, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it was for me for two years. I arrived in the dorm and it fell on my hand. Oh my God. I, was, I wonder if they did something. I don't know. I don't think they cut. I didn't, didn't feel anything, but it, it, it was not even like, Raped. It was. I feel like it was cut. cut. I'm sorry, Buddha. I like. What <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> some like, kind of a sign that you have yeah. done something that you shouldn't have done. Yeah, I felt very bad after that. But at least you were not abused in a another way. Yeah, yeah. Like, Thanks. At, like, at thankfully. least you're here today. Yeah, yeah. you're here. Thank you're you for safe. being here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Like I've heard this story a lot of times before like a lot of different versions kind of like every time she tells this the story she sometimes leaves some part out and like that's like the gist of the story 
But like this is the first time I hear the whole full story. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. That's so scary. Like you could have been sexually abused by that I pastor. Know. Crazy. I know. I mm. know. I was thinking like <laughs> inside the bedroom. I was just thinking like, what if I, like, I uppercut him? I, how can I? How can I attack him? <laughs> like, <uppercut> him? <laughs> <laughs> what should you aim? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, can can I use something in this bedroom as a weapon? Like, I, I was. You're ready for a fight. I, yeah, should I drown him on this water? I I I didn't know. I was just thinking about it and. So this was a different kind of cult, I think. Very like, different. It's I not think this was more like a religious cult. Yeah. yeah. Religious. And fun fact: last weekend. All these facts are not fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun. It's scary. Random fact. Random no, facts. no a- additional fact. I would say to like last weekend there was a, a soul friendship festival here in Kwangwamun. In Mohamun, yeah. And I, I went there because there was Brazilian food, so I wanted to eat. I went there with some friends, and after all, I left my friends and I went to a cafe to study. On my way from Gwangwamun to the cafes, I met two. Like it was four actually, two of them once and two of them after. Like they were in tra- strategical points from the same church. I got baptized, and they were like, they came to me and they were like, "Oh, hi! Do you have some time to listen to a little presentation?" Presentation. And then I look at her church, and she was like, "Oh yes, I'm from church." <laughs> I was like, "Which church?" And then she said, "Oh, this church." And I was like. I'm baptized. I, I I know the story. Sorry, I don't have time. And then I left. And then on the other point, like these two girls, they came to approach me again, and they were like, "Oh, oh, can you listen to our presentation?" A little, yeah, it was the same thing. I was like, "Are you from the, this church?" Oh yes. Do you know the church? I was like, "Yeah, I know." I was in Busan. Someone got me. They lied to me. They baptized me. They say they are going to give me free food. They just gave me food and baptized me. They lied to me. I don't like you guys. And they didn't seem surprised at all. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah, they, they, that's possible. They just look at me like, oh, oh, chum. <laughs> and then they laugh. I was like, oh yeah, they they lost the chance, yeah. And I was thinking, how common is this? Yeah. You know, there was a time I was going back to her house and. They follow me. The, the girl, this girl, she she didn't talk to me, but I felt she was following me, cause our building has no like other houses. Then there there's our house and like one or other house, and we know the people that live there. It's, it's not like I knew she wasn't one of the people that live there, and she was just following like with her tablet. And I just looked behind, and she was like, "Oh, can you listen to my presentation?" I was like, "Okay, <laughs> how many presentations do they have?" I was like. What kind of presentation? Oh, it's a very short presentation. Was, Is it from church? And she was like, <laughs> "Yes." <laughs> like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then she went down the stairs. But she was following. Like she went to the second floor or something. She like that. did. That's scary, man. So have you ever um, watched that Netflix documentary? It was huge in Korea and abroad. Called the in the name, name of, of God. God. Yeah. Yes, I watched the two first episodes. The second episode I couldn't. Uh, the, the, no, the third episode I couldn't because. It triggered me, but the, oh, the yeah. first episode, Trauma. the first two episodes from the GMS Church, I, I did watch. I I couldn't watch it. I played it first ten seconds. The audio comes. I was like, whoop, no. Yeah. <laughs> I it's couldn't very, even. Very I couldn't even watch a single video. Like I just heard the audio and was like, not the cannot. audio. You know, it was very explicit. It was very. It was hardcore. I was like, oh my god, I can't. I don't think I can handle this. I I can't. I'm not made for this. <laughs>